What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. B-Rad the Builder here, and in today's video we're gonna be working on this brand new Yamaha R7, it's 2022, and it is the World GP 60th Anniversary Edition. And today we're gonna to be putting the TST rear tilt tidy on. Let's get into the video. All right, you guys, this is what it looks like before the tail tidy. Go ahead and use your key to remove the rear seat. And now with the four millimeter Allen socket, we can go ahead and remove this coarse thread bolt. Same thing with this one. And then with our four millimeter Allen socket, we can use that to push in these push pins and remove this Allen key. Again, with the four millimeter Allen, you can remove these four bolts. Do not lose those spacers. Now we can use it to push in these push pins again for this little plastic piece behind the seat. Just pry it away from the plastics and pull it straight out. There's little locking tabs that lock into these slots here. Now with a five millimeter Allen socket, go ahead and remove these bolts behind the seat. We can remove the seat. Then with a 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove these two bolts on the outside of the plastics here. And then the four millimeter Allen socket, we can go ahead and use that to push in these four push pins. Those out of the way move on to the next step, the four millimeter Allen socket. Go ahead and remove these two outer coarse thread bolts. And then underneath on the back side, right above the rear tire, we can use our four millimeter Allen socket again and push these push pins in and you get them removed. Set that aside. On the right side here, do this to both sides but there's two push pins here one on each side and again right behind the tail light there's two push pins get those removed now we can remove the plastics from either side you just do this gently by pulling on the far back pull that out there's just friction friction fittings there just pull those straight out Now we need to remove the ECU, just pull it straight up and out. Just those rubber tabs hold it in. Just put that to the side so we can get easy access to the wires. Now there's a little slit here. We can remove the wires through there just so we can get them out of the way. A little bit easier to disconnect. Go ahead and remove the, the clips here. The white is the right side, left is black, and the gray is the license plate light, which we will not be using in our TSD kit. Go ahead and use your eight millimeter socket and remove these four bolts underneath. Just gently pull the wires out here. Now with our TST kit out, we do have the fully adjustable system here. I'm just gonna lay out the parts, get everything ready to put together. Now when installing all the pieces, I'm using a little bit of thread locker just to make sure everything stays together on the bike. What it looks like put together. Now with the long bolts that are included in the kit we're going to install the blinker setup. So we will be using the blinkers on this particular TST tail tidy. Just screw those in to the, the bottom bracket there again using thread locker. You can remove the tail light now just pull that little stud out of that friction hold. Put that to the side. 
Now we can put our long bolts included in the kit for TST. Those are five millimeter bolts. Now we need to reinstall the original LED blinkers. Take that out of the original assembly, it's very easy. Just stick the wire through there. Now you can just fold the rubber into that fitting. Make sure you get it completely around, all the way in. And then this white piece is what locks the blinker in. So we'll just put that around the wire, press that in, make sure it folds around with the rubber piece here. Fold the wires back, get it ready for installation. Now we can feed the wires through, go ahead and thread those five millimeter Allen bolts into the assembly. Now we can reinstall the tail light, just push that back into the friction hold. Now we can reconnect the, the wires, white to white, black to black. Like I said, we are not using the LED license plate light anymore, so we'll just leave that empty. Go ahead and put the ECU back in, just press firmly down, make sure it locks into those tabs. Now we can put the plastics on either side back on, just put those two tabs into the friction holds, lock it into place. Go ahead and reinstall the plate underneath the five push pins and do that to both sides. You got two push pins here on either side. Now two 10 milliliter bolts, just put those on the outside of the plastics here and lock those down again. Then we'll use four push pins and get those put in here. Now the four millimeter Allen socket, put those two small coarse thread bolts back on either side. And then we can put the seat back on and install it with the five millimeter Allen socket, two bolts. Go ahead and put this plastic piece back on, just lock it in those locking slots. Make sure either tab on both sides just locks into the plastics there and go ahead and reinstall your push pins. Now we can reinstall the Allen key. Just put that in the slot there. Put the metal piece over and put your two push pins back in. They're different from all the other ones. Very easy to tell which ones they are. Reinstall your coarse thread four millimeter Allen bolt. plastic piece back on for the back. Again, four millimeter Allen bolt, coarse thread. Screw that back in. Again, these are all four millimeter Allen bolts. Just tighten, get those nice and tight. And you can put your rear passenger seat back on and you are good to go. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button. And see you in the next video.